Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and Ramadan Mubarak for all of us insha'Allah Rabbi Alameen I would like to share with you an idea and that idea normally we always go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with millions of millions of Muslims we go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for one of the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like salah and siyam and so on and so on just like Ibrahim السلام, says, وَقَالَ إِنِّي ذَاهِبٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّي سَيَهْدِينَ I am going to Allah, to my Lord, to guide me. And there is a different when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come to you and visit only you, alone. So we go with millions of people to visit Allah, to for the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come, or, or come to you alone is a big difference between the situ two situations just like our situation in life when you go to visit one of the kings with millions of visitors one of the kings no one even will distinguish you more we distinguish your name among millions of people visiting the kings but if that king he will come and visit you alone alone in your house in your home that is a different. You will be distinguished. The people will know you. So, we will speak about how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the king of the kings, will come to you and visit you, you alone, insha'Allah, Rabbil Alameen. That is called ma'iyya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means Allah is with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with us is, of course. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be, will be with you alone, no one would share with you with this kind of visit number one if he visit you he the king the regular king not the king of the kings you will be distinguished all the debt will be dropped in you no more debt everybody will know that means you are the friend of the king so you will always be distinguished among in the government in the places in the certain areas because you are famous person and imagine when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the king of the kings will come and visit you, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will erase and drop all your sin is number one. Number two, that is from al Kareem Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And not only that, will be distinguished for with whom? With the angels, the angel carrying the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine that, not only that, when you leave or you absent, the angel will missing you. The angel will make dua for you. The angel will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for rahmah for you. The angels and the angels and the angels asking for you because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala visited you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came to you. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come to us, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, that is our topic here in Ramadan, inshallah, during Ramadan will take one of the benefits, few minutes, to practice it in order for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come and visit, visit me, to be with me, all in me. That is the ma'iyah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if we go to the Quran and the Sunnah, and we try to find out what kind of ta'at, obedience, do we stick with this obedience? For, for Allah, in order for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come to you. Imagine if you have one obedience and you stick with it, how much you'll be distinguished. You'll be different from any other Muslim in the world. My dear brothers and sisters, normally from, day, from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, we are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you pray, when you make a wudu, when you work to, to serve your family, to take care of your family, that isn't you going to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come to us, especially in this month, the month of Ramadan, the great month of Ramadan, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen. We want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come to me. When and how? What kind of ta'a or obedience? What kind of acts? makes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come to the regular person like me and you. Be with me again, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come to you, to me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.